Hey folks, what's up? Hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome back to another video. There's something awesome today. This came in the mail yesterday. Uh, Friday, came home. I was expecting it on Thursday, but uh, it didn't come in, so I figured it was, um, you know, it wasn't too far away. And uh, yeah, what a way to come home on a Friday after work, you know, the end of the working week, to uh, find something you've been looking, looking forward to. We've got the uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive Luke and Ray pack. I uh, bought this off eBay. Um, and I paid paid a reasonable amount for it, but you know what? I don't care. I've got it. Um, I'm happy to have it. I don't mind paying a little bit extra, um, especially to get these things from overseas. I mean, if it is going to hit stores here in Australia, it's not going to be for a, quite a long time. And um, you know we're getting we're gonna get these figures apparently on um force friday whether it's the exact same versions of luke and ray i assume the ray is going to come out but uh whether whether it's this version of luke from the end of force awakens or the uh the last jedi luke where he's in wearing sort of darker robes we're not sure yet um so far just the pictures of the finn in first order disguise and the kylo ren have been leaked um, for the six inch line but upon receiving this I'm just really impressed with the uh, the packaging and the layout of this thing um, it's got a plastic plastic pull off sleeve so it really really protects the, protects the box well <laughs> so you don't drop it so then when you can open it up you've got the two pictures side by side and they look fantastic and then the figures very nicely displayed in the center there which is really nice too um, of course I've taken the figures out that's why they're they're not ghosts um, so we've got Ray Jedi training and Luke Skywalker Jedi master and a little bio on each side there you can pause that and have a quick read if you like so yeah really nicely pre presented um, in this box and you know, having it having it set out like this, it means it's not too big to ship. Um, keeps the shipping down, shipping costs down a little bit. So I'm I'm so stoked to have this this set. Um, so we'll look at Ray. I've just she's got her first to hand, and I've actually given her staff to my Force Awakens Ray. But she comes with a retooled um, her staff. It's got a nicer strap on it. Remember the one from The Force Awakens? It was a little bit, it was a bit weird. The strap was twisted and it didn't sit right on her shoulder, but they fixed that this time. So you just have to take my word for it. Oh, I forgot to get it down. Um, so here's Rey in her last, the last Jedi training outfit. Um, I was a little bit surprised we got this one and not the Resistance Rey in the set. I thought um, the Rey outfit that she has at the end of The Force Awakens would have fit nicely in this pack. But obviously they want to give us a little something, a little taste of what's to come in The Last Jedi. So I hope you're getting a good look at that. Actually really nicely done. Um, it's a, the face paint is a much nicer likeness than the Force Awakens version we got. And I'm excited that they are switching to that digital paint apps, much like Fig Arts and uh, Mafex do with theirs. So we'll get them a lot more accurate in the future. They'll look a little bit nicer, I think. So kudos to Hasbro for taking that path. But there's a nicely sculpted figure. I hope, like I said, I hope you're getting to some, getting a good look. Just bring it a bit closer to the camera. So the outfit is very reminiscent of her Force Awakens outfit. I'll just um. But uh, yeah, definitely a nice upgrade. So it's definitely got the same feel, but with the sort of gray, the way it sort of still comes down and loops around and then back over and separates at the sides. She's still got the sort of the wrapped sleeves, which is a cool look, I really like that. But it's still very, very Jedi-like. she comes with the lightsaber which she did in the last release um, as well now uh, the first the initial ray didn't come with the lightsaber they were, I guess they were avoiding spoilers at that time so 
and uh, she's just got sort of grey trousers and some sort of knee-high boots as opposed to her sort of ankle ankle covering shoes that she would have worn in the in the desert. She also comes with the holstered blaster that Han gave her, so that's a nice addition. We can recreate those scenes from the Force Awakens where she uses that blaster, which is which is nice. Articulation certainly been improved on this one too, especially within the arms. With the uh, Force Awakens race, she couldn't really bend her elbows all that way, all that greatly. But this one, they've uh, they've fixed that, so you get a really nice tight angle of movement there. Um, just trying to get that to focus. So you can definitely get her holding that lightsaber with both hands. So the uh, wrist movement is is fantastic as well. So it just allows for some more dynamic posing if you want to set them up on the shelf. They're just an all-round pretty good figure to kick off the last Jedi. Like, um, what better way to start with than your than your main hero, really? And she looks great. Nice defensive pose there. It looks good. That's a really, really good, nice, nice figure. Like I said, nice one to kick, kick the, uh, kick the path to the uh, last Jedi into into gear. So, and yeah, here's one we've been waiting a long time for: Luke Skywalker finally. Doesn't come with any accessories, so take with that, take from that what you will. But he does have a. Uh, little hook there so you can hang a lightsaber from it if you'd like but um yeah this is this is a pretty pretty solid figure it's uh it's basic um much like the uh obi-wan old obi-wan old ben kenobi we got um pretty basic but it does it does what it needs to it looks good um the face sculpt i'm just gonna I just had some blue tack stuck to the side of his head so he could hold the so the hood would like hold to his head a little bit. So we could try and get a good close up of that. I know my lighting isn't that great. But the detail there on the head is pretty good. Especially that hair it looks fantastic. I really like the I really like his um white Jedi outfit here too. You can sort of see underneath he's got the you can sort of see the cross of the shirt there which is reminiscent of his top from um, his sort of shirt from the Return of the Jedi but this is white and then he's got the uh, traditional Jedi sort of tabards over the top which looks great. Um, underneath sort of pretty standard legs sort of wrapped up boots I mean, I guess Hasbro started working from this the second The Force Awakens came out. Um, you know, it takes 18 months for Hasbro to turn out a figure from concept to on the pegs. It takes 18 months to get that far. So, obviously, the Lucasfilm didn't want to quite get any Luke figures out quite in a hurry um, to avoid avoid spoilers. But, um, you know, that's okay. We've, we've got him now. We can all sort of rest happily now. Um, his hood comes with a couple of strings, and I've, I haven't seen anyone do this yet. But um, if you look at some of the pictures, I'm just going to try and show this as best I can. It comes with two strings, sort of from the from the top of the shoulders. And if you actually tie each string around under each arm and tie it around the back, it sort of holds it on his shoulders quite nicely. I've got also got a little bit of blue tack there just to sort of hold it in front but um i'm going to tweak it a little bit more i think i think i can i can probably tidy it up a little bit which which will make it look a bit nicer but um yeah most people have been tying it around the front of his neck and it, does, it, it looks shit um so <laughs> there's got to be a better way and uh looking at some photos of luke from the force awakens you can sort of see that he has a couple of ropes whether it just ties around his arm in a loop or um actually around his back from behind his arms like you would wear like you'd wear a backpack i guess 
but he's got his got his mechanical hand there. So definitely still a big mystery into what we're gonna how how Luke is when we see the Last Jedi. It's gonna be exciting and interesting, I think. So super excited to have Luke and Luke and Ray in the collection, especially Luke. Um, it's still bizarre to think we're holding an action figure in my hand of Luke Skywalker, you know, 40 years, 30 years on from Return of the Jedi. I think that's crazy. Um, if you'd have told me back in like 2012, we'd have action figures of old man Luke. Uh, that's crazy, that's nuts. But here we are. He's cool. So I've got the uh, Thrawn set on the way as well. Um, I might wait for the standard release of the Land Speeder to get that. Um, unless it pops up for a reasonable price. Um, if you look up a seller called Freeman Toys, Freeman Toys on eBay, um, they've got the Thrawn set for a reasonable price, but more than you pay at retail at the, at the convention in the States, but reasonable enough to get it sent down here. <laughs> um, so I've got that on, on its way as well. So I'm looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, the last Jedi, the march to the last Jedi begins. So um, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's exciting times ahead. I hope you've enjoyed this look. And I'll be back with some more videos very, very soon. Till then, may the force be with you.